severe loss. You need a severe lifestyle. You need to get the f*** out of my face and leave me alone because you are all nothing but the lowest form of military s*** that ever existed. In ever you need to get out of this goddamn f***. And no, you don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. I think we've done it. This was over a mask, obviously. Uh, and listen, you get to a, a particular point in life, you know, you, you're definitely not going to do what somebody else tells you to do. I got some people like that in my family. They would not have responded this way, but this is OG Karen. I can't stand my stand. Excuse me, mind your business. Move no, no, off. No, it's children's business. Move right you off. You no, it's not your business. I paid my fare. Everybody okay? Paid their fare. So not to have you on in front of my face. Look around. I don't give a f what's around me. I care what's in front of me. Understand that? I'm not here for nobody else. I'm here for me. That's very obvious. Yes, and then move your arm please. I'm a little bit so it's not in front of my face. Are we getting pumped? Excuse me, move the house. <laughs> that was the problem. You're waiting for what? For me to say the P-L-E-A-S-E? Because I'm not going to do it. I'm not moving anywhere. I am holding on to the ball. I wish my husband like, was going to lay me down. down. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. yeah. Yeah. If my husband's an officer, this wouldn't happen. Trust me. That is nice. <laughs> My amazing investigative team here at Indisputable has identified this particular Karen. Her name is Lois Griffin, the wife of Peter Griffin. <laughs> everybody had arms in front of everybody. It was a crowded as situation. Um, the line that really sticks with me is when she said, I wish my husband was here. What's Peter Griffin gonna do about this? And you're touching me unnecessarily. You know what? You're touching me. You're the one that sat your fat, sloppy body down. <laughs> you wish. You love me to be a silent object. What a hell. Have a nice day. Keep your sarcasm to yourself. You're not very witty. I'm not your doormat. I don't know one person here anything. You just think that you have the right to disrespect me because I'm an attractive woman. Wow. I mean, it was not a joke. Okay, here's something I saw in this video. Obviously, the Karenicity runs deep. I don't know what she was looking at on the card, like she was getting instructions from a blank card. I don't know. In this, she is claiming that somebody's touching her. Did you see how crowded that location <laughs> was? Everybody is touching everybody.